Hello fellow Simakians, I see Seth Sullivan here is back for another video of the dimensions of Silmac. And in this video, we're getting move on to the next dimension, which is the ominous dimension. So as I said in the last episode, or last video, um, I had already started working on ominous dimension. Um, as of this video's recording, I'm almost done the weather dimension. I am getting super close to being done and I'm getting super excited for it as well. But for now, um, I'm just gonna show you off or show you um, the some of the ominous cards that I have changed, just a couple of them. Uh, first things first, I wanted to show you Festering Cheek. Um, so before it was a level 1, 3 attack, 1 health monster with an ability called Spread. When Festering Cheek dies, deal 3 damage to target enemy. So it was like a guaranteed 3 damage. Um, so now he uses the Revenge ability. Um, so when Festering Cheek or one of your other monsters die, deal three damage to target enemy. So it can be used a little more strategically now, and you can try and kill off other creatures you have. If you play it later game, it's useful. Um, and you can really pull off some combos with it if, you're, if you need to get rid of some of your creatures to take out some of the enemy creatures. You can really do some serious damage with Festering Cheek now. Um, in hindsight, it might be a little too good, so I might end up bumping it down to like a two attack and the ability to have two damage, but I'll see how it goes after a little bit of playtesting. All right, so next up, we are going to skip over to Zombie with Claws. <clears throat> so originally, it was a level two monster with two attack and two health. In fact, a monster affected by this mo or sorry, a monster attacked by this monster loses its card text. So it was kind of like a silencing ability. But um, now it's it's got the same stats, so level two, two attack, two uh, health. Re but now it's got again revenge. So when one of your other monsters die, a target monster loses its card text. So now it's not um, what the zombie attacks. It's when a creature dies. So again, you can try and kill off your own creatures to uh, get this ability to go off to make enemy cards kind of weaker. Um, I th again, this and Festering Cheek working in a similar deck would be beneficial. It w wouldn't be bad. Not at all. Um, and let's see. Do, do, do Next, I wanted to do a spell card. So um, I don't think I changed any of the spells very much. So I'm just going to show you Connor's Curse because it was one of my favorites. I really kind of enjoy it. So Connor's Curse, it's a level 4 7 ether spell, but you can kind of choose two abilities. So you can either deal 10 damage to both players, or you can deal 3 damage to a friendly and enemy monster. So you can help clear the board, killing your off your own creature, or just dealing 10 instant damage to both yourself and your enemy. Now, of course, this could be used to activate a uh, revenge ability. You can do it to deal three damage to an enemy creature, also kill one of your creatures, and um, activate a a uh, revenge ability. So I feel like revenge and ominous is gonna be pretty powerful. So far, actually just doing this video, I've noticed how good the uh, combos could be. So I'm gonna, again, have to test some things out. And there was one more card I wanted to show you for this video, and it was the Screamer. Um, this also has revenge, I believe. <laughs> I. I really, I really went crazy with the revenge here. So it's, um, it's a level six, six attack, six health, same stat line, uh, with revenge now. So when one of your other monsters die, a target monster can't attack next turn. So instead of you play it, it prevents a target monster and attack next turn. Now every time a monster dies, one of your monster dies rather, a target monster can't attack next turn. So you could, you could kill off some of your creatures and completely stall out the enemy's board while you have a really strong creature out, which is a pretty good, pretty good move. Um, but yeah, I realize now that this is kind of powerful and I should probably tone it down a little bit. Either that or uh, tone up the other, the other dimensions. But again, I'll have to test it through testing. But yes, oh my gosh. But yes, um, uh, yeah, that's the Ominous Dimension. Done. Again, completed. Other than the full arts, uh, one of these days, I'm going to just sit down, do all the full arts in one day, get them over with. But I'm getting really close to being done, guys. Uh, I've been working on Weather Dimension. As you can see, I have all the weather cards here. 
and I have like half of them done. I haven't gotten to the spell cards yet, but as soon as they're done, which I'm hoping I can get them done maybe Monday even. It's Saturday today. Uh, Sunday probably by the time you're watching this, but um, if I can have the spell cards done on Monday, I can start working on the full arts, and I could have all of the cards done by mid-next week. How crazy is that? Now, of course, it wouldn't be out yet because... Um, well, I'm going to I'm going to do a full video on this, but just to let you know now, um, next week at the end of the week, I'll be leaving for another vacation for two weeks camping up north. Um, so for two weeks, I won't be able to get any videos out to you guys. Um, but the set will be done. And so during those two weeks while I'm away, I'll be rewriting the whole rule book so that everything makes sense. Um for release and then as soon as I get back from vacation I upload all of the cards to the game crafter and it gets out to you guys it's super close to being done again by mid next week all of the cards could be done so we're looking at one two three probably four or five more weeks until the set is released it's definitely going to be out by Christmas so um yeah I guess it'd be a good a good uh, gift idea but yeah anyway um, I think that's everything for this video um, thank you all very much for watching um, I hope you enjoyed the video please leave a like down below and uh, leave a comment on what you thought about the video anything about any of the card changes um, what do you think about kind of those combos could be pretty powerful but uh, again thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you all next time under the Sun Sun Lord is up